What's going on, Hit Squad? It's your main man, Hitman, and I am back. Once again, with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all lost jewelry, the coins, the heroines, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Wednesday, Tuesday. May 18th, and as I say, each and every video, smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way, and if you're watching, just browsing, just checking out the channel, just checking out the cycle, just checking out me in general, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you can get each and every video that I do put out, because I do put out videos each and every day. If you guys want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at HitmanMiyagiYT. How to spell that will be in the hashtag below the video and in the description box below. First things first, I want to get to Madame Nazar and all that other stuff, but it's Tuesday. Rockstar came out with a lot of things. And, um... On May 25th, that's when we'll be getting our summer update for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. So keep an eye out for that. It's supposed to be like some type of robbery situation. Go to Rockstar uh, Newswire if you want to check out more information on that. Um, they also said that uh, GTA Online for or GTA and GTA Online. For the next gen systems, the Xbox and the uh, PS5, they are getting the enhanced and expanded version on November the 11th. So that that's exciting news for, especially like for for me, because I mean I I'm trying to find something to do, and <laughs> it's just like. I'm playing the same games over and over. I need something new going on. But let's get to today's situation. I didn't really check on the uh, the update for today, but I may have to do like a update video or even a live stream for Red Dead Redemption to give you guys all the details and all that stuff. If there's anything too much important, but I figure everything that's going on is main, mainly like to help you get money and stuff to prepare you for the next situation, which is coming. I'm pretty sure is next week. Next week on the next Tuesday, actually, next Tuesday we will have our summer update for Red Dead Redemption 2 so make sure you guys grind it out do your collecting make some money and me I'm just saving all my collections so I can turn them in so I can get the outlaw pass done quick and all that other stuff so that's enough talking for right now the uh let's get to Madame Nazar's location which today Madame Nazar is in the Emerald Ranch, Emerald Station area, new near Dewberry Creek, because it goes all the way up there. See all the little snake wind right there? That's all the creek. Um, she's near Emerald Ranch location. She will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone, for those of you who don't know, or not of America. Uh, this is one of my personal favorite spots because it's like in the middle of everything I like when she's here how I get to her when she's right here just simply fast travel to Emerald Station and run down she's right around the corner from the fence so she's easy to get to how I personally get to her is I just run down from my moonshine shack since every day you see that I'm here this is where I go before I turn off the game this is where I start the game so I know where my character is I like to, to know exactly where I'm gonna spawn 
like you know the, the surrounding areas but let's get to the next thing which is the caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle today the caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle is in black water right here in the back of this tent sitting on a crate or a barrel right at the back so go grab that uh i didn't look up any other things that are around here but let's get to over here to where we normally do business let's see okay the cycles for today Tuesday May 18th are family heirloom cycle 1 all luxury cycle 4 coin cycle 6 arrowhead cycle 1 wildflower cycle 4 Antique alcohol bottle cycle 4, all tarot cards cycle 5, bird egg cycle 3, and fossils cycle 1. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. The cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram for the channel. Just in case you want to keep updated with the updates for the channel and Madame Nazar's location and any other things that I have to put out. I only put out information for the channel. I don't put out memes. I try not to do anything of that like that on these uh, channels for the channel. These social medias for the channel. Um, anywho, let's get to the things that we will find across the uh, Lemoyne area of the map. Starting with Uh, let's start up here right here on the barrel inside this burned down house right here you guys will get a tarot card which is a ten of wands remember it's on a barrel inside that house it's not really a house it's like a base of a house but let's go over here to our next marker our first marker which is between the W and blue water right here at this location there's a boat go through the door of that boat and you will get a ivory comb this ivory comb is inside near the sink don't forget that um let's go over here to this house by the h and marsh right here at this location you guys will find a nine of wands tarot card on the dinner table let's go over to another spot right here on this little island right here if you guys can see that exactly where that is right there on that island come over here with your metal detector and you will get a random coin It's by the base of this tree that's over here in this location so come over here around the tree with your metal detector and that's what you will get a random coin let's go over to the right a little bit to our next marker which is a fossil this fossil is randomized i cannot tell you guys which one it is but make sure you pay attention to the lines and indentations and all that kind of stuff that's on the map so you can gauge exactly where these things are you know like is it kind of in between these two barns and this barn right there but it's like above this line so <laughs> that's kind of how i do it i'm just trying to explain to you guys a little bit but let's go over to our next marker which is underneath the U and Bayou right here at this location you guys will get a bird egg this bird egg is a heron egg H-E-R-O-N it's in a tree shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow right here right next to it you guys will find a fossil this fossil is randomized just like the other one just like all fossils, they're randomized, and I cannot tell you guys exactly which one you will get. But right here at this location, that's what it will be, a random fossil. Come over here with your metal detector by the tree stump that's over here in this area, I think. And that's what you will get. Um, let's go over back to the right, to this house. Right here at the back of this house on the porch or back porch or deck you guys will get a 
family heirloom, which is a horse hairbrush. This horse hairbrush is on a table on that back deck. Let's go down here to the cemetery right here inside this crypt. You guys will get a Benet's Topaz ring. Once again, it's inside this crypt. Go through the gate and towards the back on the shelf. And that's where it will be. Let's go to our next marker, which is right here on a bench that's in front of this church. Uh, right here at this location, there's a tarot card, which is a Ten of Pentacles. That's on this bench right here. Let's go over to our next marker, which is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is kind of on the other side of this little line right here. But there's a table right here. There's a white table. And on that table, you will find a chessboard. And on that chessboard, you will find a ivory hairpin. Remember to use your eagle eye when you come over here in this area looking for it. Because it'll help you find it if you don't know exactly where it is. Uh, let's go down to our next marker. Matter of fact, there's a card, a tarot card right here on this dock. Right here at this location, there's an Eight of Pentacles. There's a bench on this dock, and on that bench, you will find your tarot card. Let's go to our next marker, which is underneath the ground. This marker is a Tennessee Whiskey Antique Alcohol Bottle. This Antique Alcohol Bottle is on the ground. How to get there is go through the two gates, the double gate that's right here. Uh, there's a platform you hop on right here. About here, there's an entrance into the building, where it looks like it's into the building, but it leads you down and around to the antique alcohol bottle. The antique alcohol bottle is on a large crate that's kind of in the middle of the path, so it should be easy to see. There's a lantern on this crate as well. Grab the antique alcohol bottle off and just go back the other way that you came from. And once again, that is a Tennessee whiskey bottle. Let's go up to our next marker, which is right here at this location. Right here, you guys will find another random coin. I don't know if I said a coin already, but it is a random coin. It's right here at this location by a broken wagon. It's like a small broken wagon. Come over with your metal detector, and that's what you will get. Let's go down to our next marker, which is a cardinal flower. It's the cardinal flower that spawns over here in this area each and every day that helps me personally indicate exactly what cycle the flowers are on for today. Um, there's a couple things like down here inside this house. There's a lost jewelry, which is a Thorburn turquoise ring is inside the wardrobe in the first room to the right. And outside the house, at the back, on, on a work table, you guys will find a Four of Swords tear card. Let's go up to Rhodes a little bit, where you will find a couple things. It's about five things over here. Inside of Rhodes, uh, one is a New Guinea Rosewood hairbrush, which is on the chair in the bedroom on this side right here. So in the chair in that bedroom, go get that. There's a uh, family heirloom New Guinea Rosewood hairbrush. There's a tarot card on the work table inside this barn, that's the Two of Pentacles. Uh, there's a, another family heirloom right here, which is a dig spot. You don't need your metal detector, but you, you do need a shovel. This is a ebony hairpin. And right here on this hanging platform, on the railing of this hanging platform, there's a Three of Swords tarot card. The last thing that I think I, well, before we go to that, there's a lost jury right about here at this location. There's a large rock over here and right beside it, come over here with your metal detector, right beside the large rock, and you will get a lost jury, a random lost jury. A um, couple more things right here beside or behind this this house, there's a wagon. And on that wagon, 
you will find the Six of Pentacles tarot card. And this last marker that we have right here, Bimatic Pond. Pond is a random arrowhead. You do not need your metal detector for this one, but you do need your shovel. You will get, once again, get a random arrowhead. If you do pull out your metal detector, you should get something over here, which is a random item. I cannot tell you guys what category or what exactly it will be because it's random. So get both of those things. Right, right as well. Uh, let's zoom out so I can put everything, put you back in frame so you guys can see all the things that I did mark or I could mark across the map. The cycles for today once again are Family Heirloom Cycle 1, All Lost Jury Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 6, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 4, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 4, All Terror Cards Cycle 5, Bird Egg Cycle 3, and Fossil Cycle 1. Once again, Family Heirloom Cycle 1, All Lost Jury Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 6, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 4, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 4, All Terror Card Cycle 5, Bird Egg Cycle 3, and Fossils Cycle 1. I didn't say again, but today is Tuesday, May the 18th. And I want to thank you guys for watching the videos. I do appreciate it. I cannot say that enough. Uh, thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, commenting. When you do, I do appreciate each and every bit that you guys do for the channel because it does uh, help out the channel and if you haven't if you don't remember to like share subscribe hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I do put out because I do put out videos each and every day whether I feel like it or not <laughs> it's your baby man hitman hitman Miyagi once again and I'm out